We've watched his actions over the last year. Mike Duggan hasn't stopped up, stepped up and blocked anybody from the discriminatory practices in terms of pushing black seniors. I mean, here you are. These are people who, pay, who played by the rules. They're at the, in their sunset years. They're in senior apartments. And they've pushed, they've pushed them out of downtown Detroit. Where do they go? And some of them had no, no relatives. Where do they go? They're pushing these people into some environments that are unsavory, and it, never, it should not happen to any seniors. I don't care whether they're black, white, or whatever. And during an election year, you have the gall to say, we're going to change. We aren't going to do that anymore. Just vote for me. Give me another term so I can run for another office, and it won't be mayor. And, you know, we'll be cool. No, we aren't cool with that, especially when you give all that corporate welfare to the Elitches and, and Dan Gilbert, and then you eliminate any sanctions against noncompliance with the viable community benefits agreement, which we still don't have, thanks to the handkerchief head behavior of uh, 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 the bow down cow towing uh, rubber stamping city council of Detroit. Well, you know, anybody that runs that gets past the primary, it doesn't matter who it is, they're going to get about 30. 35 percent of the vote something like that just you know on gp for folks that are going to be dissatisfied do a protest vote stuff like that you know what i'm saying it's 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 like the when the person Thank runs you for goes, calling wayne uh uh where uh, the county executive uh -huh. you know the opposite person is always going to get about 30 percent of the vote so you really you really only have to if you can get 20 more percent if you look at getting 20 more percent, you could actually win. If Coleman Young could be an effective foil for the discussion that we're having here in relationship to, you know, uh, the state of black America and Detroit, the vulnerabilities, the opportunities, stuff like that, he could have a chance. Oh, he has a good chance if he can broaden his base and his message be mainstream. Right. And his image be crafted a little bit more. Specificity is the key. What are you saying, Sam? Well, all I'm saying is that <laughs> I believe that uh, Coleman is gifted intellectually. I believe he served honorably in the uh, legislature. And I believe he's a creative young man. But image-wise, he's not bringing it to be at the level where Detroit will create a drumbeat with and for him. And the guy trying to create a drumbeat is a white boy from Livonia. What's up with that? He's, he's, he's definitely a gifted speaker, too. He is a gifted speaker. I've heard him speak on many occasions, and you're like, wow, okay. He's a smart young man. Oh, absolutely. Hi, Steve. Mildred Gaddis, Sam, Greg. Yeah. Listen to this. While Mike Duggan was giving his diatribe on Mackinac, a black homeless man was being stabbed by three white men in Eastern Market. And called a lot of names. And call a lot of names. So, you know, what keeps Detroit from being third world? When you got just now, Mildred, on your news. Sam Riddle world. said the goats in the street. Well, we got James James Tate said he wants to bring in the goats to cut the grass. Yeah. And right now we have many bike games going down Grand River. We got many ATVs being driven down our streets. And I just heard on your newscast, Mildred, that Royal Oaks is going to put an all-out ban on tire screeching and speeding and parking. Where is that for the city of Detroit? I've got that door surrounded by me, and I'm in Rosedale doing Evergreen six miles.